Welcome to this demonstration video for Lucid Shape CAA Katia V5 based. In this example, we are going to demonstrate how to create a light guide based turn indicator using the light guide design module. We begin with an existing headlamp which still requires the turn indicator. This turn indicator will be behind a partially metallized bezel. The turn indicator will consist of two, mainly vertical light guides and a horizontal edge light. In a first step, we are going to copy the design curve into the model. This curve will be used as the spine curve for one of the light guides. It is time to start up the light guide design module. The status screen gives a brief overview about the current current state of the light guide design. We are switching to the path curve tab to begin the guide creation. In the path curve tab, we set the number of sample points for the spine curve to 30. Then, we move over to the geometry view and select the design curve. Afterwards, we go back to the path curve tab and click the button Add Spline from Datum to create the spine curve for the light guide. We are now going to create the cross section profiles. To do so, we switch to the cross section tab and select the preset, circle with flat. Then we adjust the cross-section parameters accordingly. Now, we switch to the Guide Surface tab to set the number of cross-section profiles we like to use for the, the creation of the light guide surface. Afterwards, we click on Add Profiles to create the set of cross-section profiles. We can now change the rotation of each profile to adjust for twists in the light guide. After hiding the rest of the headlamp, we can see the cross-section profiles more clearly. By changing the view, we see the alignment of the individual profiles. We can now create the light guide surface around the profiles by clicking the Add Guide Surface button. In the Prisms tab, we set the length, width, and spacing of the prisms, as well as the various angles. Clicking Add Part Body and Prisms creates a light guide solid with prisms. After changing the view, we can see the prisms more clearly. With the physical light guide complete, we are now going to add a light source at the start of the light guide. For this, we switch to the Sources and Sensors tab and click on the Add Source button. We are now going to add multiple sensors, beginning with the Ray File sensor. Then we click on Add Intensity sensor, followed by Add Luminance sensor. And finally, click Add Conformal Surface to add a surface sensor to the light guide. Afterwards, we click the button Add Simulation to add a simulation object which will contain all simulation parameters. We begin the preparations for the light guide optimization by setting up the optimization parameters in the Spatial tab. After clicking Trace and Evaluate, we receive a first set of simulation results. The graph on the right shows constant prism sizes, indicated by the horizontal blue line, and a rapidly dropping luminous flux along the light guide, shown as a red curve. In the far field sensor, we can see that the light is centered horizontally, but is aiming at minus 50 degrees vertically. The surface sensor shows the illuminance gradient of the current light guide. The luminance camera image depicts a similar gradient. 
By changing the display pro properties for the light guide, we can see the prism distribution in the geometry. The performance summary tab shows the spatial and angular distribution of the extracted light along the light guide. The optimization controls tab allows the adjustment of further optimization parameters. We set the number of iterations to 1 to have step-by-step -step control of the optimization process. Now all parameters are set, and we can start the optimization. After the first optimization iteration, we can already see changes in the light distribution. The vertically center of the far field light distribution has moved up to minus 30 degrees, and the center of luminance is now in the middle of the light guide. In the graph, we can see that the extractor values, shown in blue, now follow a curve. Next, we are going to run multiple iterations, and observe the optimization process. After the optimization, we see a drastically improved result. In the far field, the light is aiming directly to the center, while the luminance view depicts a highly uniform lit appearance. Furthermore, the red graph of the spatial performance plot reveals an even light extraction along the light guide. The angular data also shows very little deviation between the light guide sections. The surface sensor shows a uniform illuminance. Simulating the same light guide with more rays, visualizes the uniformity of the light extraction more clearly. We can now verify the regulation conformity of the turn indicator, by opening our test table tool, and selecting the correct FMVSS turn signal regulation. As the result table shows, all measurement points are within specifications, so the turn indicator passes the regulation test. Now that the optimization is complete, we begin the mechanical integration by adjusting the color of the CAD surfaces. In this step, the light guide receives mounting brackets, and is merged with the edge light. In this view, we can see how the finished light guide aligns with its original design curve. We start reassembling the headlamp by adding the housing back to the model, followed by the other lighting fixtures. In this step, we add the turn indicator bezel. The blue areas are metal coated, while the white areas are transparent. After adding the outer housing lens, the headlamp is complete. It is time to do some photorealistic simulations with the Lucid Shape CAA Visualize module. In the first image, the environment light is the only light source. In the next image, the daytime running light has been activated. Finally, the turn indicator is switched on. The headlamp is now integrated into the car. Looking at the headlamp from another angle, we can see a sun refle reflection on the housing lens. Switching on the turn indicator reveals a light distortion by the housing lens. In the upcoming visualization, we can see the lit appearance of the daytime running light and the turn indicator under different viewing angles. We hope you liked this brief design example. More information can be found on our website.